All right, hello and welcome to the um, Womb Centered Healing Podcast special episode with Sean Ching Chang. Welcome, Sean. Thank you so much for joining us. Sean is Hi. To, thank you. Sean is going to share with us today about um, the five elements from uh, Taoist Chinese medicine practice and how they relate to our womb wellness. And yes. um, those of us who are on here live um, will have the opportunity to ask questions in the chat and Sean can answer them. I might pipe in with some questions, Sean, as we go, just for clarification. And, um, and then we're going to, Sean will lead us in a self acupressure practice um, and which includes some, or with vocalization. I, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So take it away, Sean. Thank you so much. Here we go. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm from Malaysia and I'm a yoga instructor. So um, usually what I practice with my students and I fully use meridian points, touching, tapping, massaging, and to help my students to know more about their body, to connect it with them. Yeah, so in acupressure, uh, meridian point, energy healing, I name it as acupressure emotional energy healing. And it is actually not out of our emotions. Most of the time, we have feeling. And it's like when I am in this Zoom and I feel ex so excited to share, and it's 6.08 from Malaysia AM, but I'm so excited about it. So this is actually the feeling. So feeling creates thinking. And in this kind of process, we will start to imagine. So our body will start to have a kind of energy. We name it as chi to expand. So when we expand, for sure, our faculty would be so alert, awake, and which is related to our stability or unstability, which is related to our base chakra, like the root chakra, the sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart, throat, the eye, and our crown chakra. But today we are talking about the five elements how these five elements relate to our womb wellness. As Sama and I always talk about this, womb is a space to store love, share love, but how it is related to our five elements. So I just give it, I mean, a very brief and precise explanation. There are 12 main meridian points around our body with all the pathways in one time we can't learn all but today we are going to share something i mean which is more easier i want something easier i mean to allow everybody to remember quick and easier we start from our hands okay so here five okay i, I gotta adjust it so just look at your hands so here's your hands right so we use our feet to walk. So we stay grounded with both of our feet. And regarding to our traditional Chinese medicine, and then we are concerned about the reflexology and there are so much the acupressure point around our body and so many pathways. But in our hands, I have to briefly I mean, explain this. So there are five elements around our fingers, which is connected to our major organs. So the first one is about ether, ether, air, fire, water, and earth. So it's easier for you to know that, okay, physically, the physical body is easier for you to connect with. You can see your hand, you can touch your body. The second part that would be the food, which is related to the five elements, okay? The food and also the flavor. 
Great. So when I start from my hands, you can all practice it together with me. This one is aether. Aether is related to our brain. So here, we create a space to allow ourselves. The meaning of uh, the, the meaning of aether is actually to create a space for ourselves. Say, for example, are we at a safe space? So when we connect something elemental, like safe space. So that is the meaning of we want to be here or we don't want to be here. So it's our thinking. This is actually the first element, okay? So the second thing that will be, the second element is the air. Air, the meaning of air is movement. Your action, your thought is the movement, okay? Physically, when you really feel, think, decision making is done, then you will have your movement. So in every movement, the thinking is regarding to the air. Air links to our lung, okay? We can see that later on. Then number three is actually the fire. Fire here, we have an emotion that is about whether we have such motivation or not. What are you passionate about? Okay, so which is related to our liver and this liver part and then that is calling are you ready for that do you really love that how much you love about your life and that is actually full of passion or even lifeless feeling and this is fire in Mary meridian point learning and this is our pericardium point and this pericardium point is to allow us to feel rebirth Okay, then number four is actually water. And this is related to the organs of kidney. So I will show you all about the image. I mean, from my PowerPoint later on, don't worry about that, okay? So this water point, this element is to allow us to know more about the flow, the flow of our thinking, our emotion, and our body. Do we surrender to it? Do we surrender to situations? So I don't name anything about positive or negative because energy is energy. Okay, let me just put it this um, situation. Like when you go into a certain space, it can be a waterfall. So you see the water flows. While the water flows, how will you feel? You will have different thinking with different perspectives to different people. So because of the differences, we will know that, is it a flow? Am I surrender to it? And it's like your thinking. And then how you feel about the water, or how you feel about the fish in the water, how you feel about the organism in the water as well. So you are you connected with the environment? So this is all about the flow. Okay, good. Last but not least is earth. Earth related to our stomach. Okay, I show you, yeah? Here you go. Can you see? So when I explain, so you can maybe have a screenshot for this. Yes. And these five elements is related to the power of your hands and how you're going to use the power of your hands. Touching your body, allowing your body to be connected with your mind and your soul. And the other part of the five elements would be, I will explain it to you, yeah? So when, once you take a screenshot, then you will know more about that. So just look at that, the earth there, that you connected with the heart. So what is that all about? According to the meridian point of the baby finger, and then we just connected to our heart meridian point. And the kidney point, 
then we have to stand up and work with that, okay? So the fire is related to our intestine. And the air is related to our lungs and the aether is related to our brain. So if I want to conclude it, do not forget about today we are all here can see the image can be together for this gathering is because of we are alive. So we have to be able, very, very aware that so because of our aliveness, so we are here. Important thing is we breathe. Don't forget, breathe. It's about air as well. Got it? Okay. Great. Mm, good. So by sharing this, this five with both of your hands, then what you do with this is you can actually, whenever you feel uncomfortable, the disharmony in your brain. So you can just grab your big thumb. You can try it. And please start from, yes, I will please start from your left side of your body. So when I explain it, the yin and the yang. The yin is actually the left side. The yang is actually the right side. So the yin part is the feminine part and the yang part is the masculine part. So, and also the yin part is the feeling. So we all start from the feeling, then we have the thought. Get it? Mother first and then the father. So always when we have any discomfort around our body, it doesn't matter whether it is at your head, shoulder, or your leg. So we, you will straight away letting you know that, okay? So this part is about a feminine side and this maybe I am not concerned about my own feeling, not others' feeling, it's your own feeling. I just give you a very, I mean, very simple and precise example. When I touch your hand and then you feel the massage, but the feeling is not from me. And the pressure that I apply on you, whether it makes you feel comfortable or not, and that is your feeling. You get what I mean? Okay, my idea is to massage your hand. And that is actually the, the, the point here. Okay, feeling first. That's why everything we do, we come from the feeling first, the, the feminine part. And the masculine part would be when you feel the discomfort. The discomfort may include numbness, this, um, the pain, or maybe you feel not right with the chi because the meridian point is related to the chi. And it's like in Chinese, in Chinese um, saying, we have the feng shui, the fire and the water. The top of the body, here we go, from the lung over here is actually the fire and the bottom part is the water so when the fire and the water yin and the yang cannot be balanced together it makes you feel are you too heaty or you've got the water retention the water retention actually shows and the water the water in your body can be ex uh, excessive and this excessiveness can make you feel swollen swell and when you feel the pain in your body especially from the throat that would be overheat it is not at moderation mode so this overheat is the fire is not balanced at all so to maintain the fire and the water in the body to be in a moderate mode so what we have to do is we have to know more about the meridian point by our hands because if you don't touch any food, if you don't drink any water, but you are with your hands, with your body, so you can start from touching. And this is the part over here. Okay. Secondly, I would like to introduce to you or how these five elements related to our womb wellness. 
So if you have any issues, can you please write down at the chat and then to highlight, I say for example, the first one would be the menstrual pain, okay? Secondly, that would be the inflammation maybe from the head like brain fog and that causes a lot of issues like the insomnia. The third one can be the, the locomotion for your body and then which is not flexible most of the time and you feel fatigue. So when you write down, yeah, slow metabolism, very good. So we have one that is re related to what we so call the blood circulation. So we need this chi amine to boost it, okay? So I'm waiting for the rest. Or maybe you have the shoulder pain because the, up, because the upper shoulder pain, the back pain or the middle part or our lower part, it shows different symptoms related, related to our internal organs. Okay, I, I just show you some example. For, okay. Here we go. When we highlight the womb, and then we could see there are actually lots of points surrounding our abdominal part. And in this abdominal area, you could see that we start from the pubic area right over here, and which is the meridian point of bladder and liver, okay? because we are visual and audio persons, and then we can see the area where actually, I mean, we can know more about, oh, my bladder and my liver point is right at, our, at my pubic area. So when you reach to the groin area, you could see this is stomach, okay? So if I really want to relate this, I mean, to wound wellness, you will know that actually this spot, especially the lower abdominal area. You can take a screenshot or maybe you will be received. You will receive, I mean, the, the images, I mean, from Summer Morning Star, okay? Great. You can see this vitality energy area that would be from your navel area. So the navel is actually connected to our heart, to our heart meridian point. So whenever you feel the discomfort, especially bloating, so you might feel the swell surround your abdominal area, the upper part. So which is related to this vitality energy area. This is actually your vitality energy area. So the chi actually comes from your lung because you need to breathe. So in each breath that you take, the inhale and the exhale, that tells you whether you are comfortable with your body, mind, and soul or not. And it is talk about, does it, I mean, um, do you have any blissful feeling in you when you work on something so that it's easier for you to carry on, okay? So you might see kidney. Here is kidney, right over here. Okay, so when you see KI, kidney 16 here is actually one of the points. And this is the point when people feel you have the difficulty of losing weight. So you may just point off these two, KI 16, okay? These two dots. And when you feel the REN, okay? REN run six here. And this is the point, is our sex point. And this sex point, and it's to allow us to know more about the womb area, whether it runs more smoothly or not. When it runs so smoothly, it shows the functions very well. It means the flow in this area, the element is playing its job, okay? It's doing its job so well. Then I will explain to you why I focus on this, okay? Then run number four and number three, is actually related to our digestive system, which is related to our big colon. Okay, so 
when I show all these points, what am I going to tell you is how you press on them so that it's easier for you to know that, okay, I am healing this part. So normally when you lie on the bed, you could just place both of your hand to cover it with this point, okay? And you just allow yourself to pamper yourself, sleep well, and rest well. So you would generally feel your, your womb is being warmed up. And what about the bladder and the liver point? And that is a very important part for us to practice the pinching. It means how you're going to do this at your pubic area. So the reason why we do all this exercise is because we are learning how we are going to activate this area. As we see, as for men, this is the prostate area. For women, it's the uterus. So, which is related to our vaginal wall. So, once your vaginal wall is being tightened, so at the same time, it corresponds to your rectal muscle. So, when your rectal muscle is active, so it's easier for you to heal and prevent the issues of constipation. So, which is related. Okay, the Kegel muscle. So this area is the element of water. Okay, the color of element, uh, the color of this element, which is um, black color, it can be blue, it can be purple. So the food that is related to it, so you will see here. Can you see that? The water, you just focus on one thing first then you will know more about how it is related to our womb area, okay? So regarding to the element of water, which is the color is black. When you, when you are looking for the food, which is black color, but think about something blue and purple, okay? And one more thing, water, water is black. When we were in the womb of our mother, we were, we were in the, in a dark space and this space is with water then it's easier for you to remember that okay then regarding to um the, to this element there are actually two organs which shows the yin and the yang okay the yin part the yin organ is our is our kidney it's actually at the back of our body and the yang organ is our bladder. So when these, these two organs, they are disturbed. So what you will feel is fear. So most of the time, whenever you feel you're tensed up and you feel like you're going to pee, you just feel discomfort. And some people, I mean, they would have the loose motion as well. So this tells you the emotion in these two organs, which may lead you to something uncomfortable. The first thing is you have fear with your body. You have fear in your emotion. And you have fear in your mindset. At the same time, your energy will be disturbed. So when this energy will be disturbed, then you will feel your metabolism at this moment and you are not you. When you feel you are not you, you are searching for the ways I mean to solve this problem. Okay, to solve this problem, actually we will practice, I mean, the exercise. The first one is the vocalization. But when we do vocalization, I will, I will let everybody to try all the organs vocalizations at the same time. And just check the kidney and the bladder. The flavor of it is salty. That's, that is the reason why we have to cut down the, ex, the cut down the sodium. The amount of sodium, maybe five grams each day. So when we have a moderation of salt, the sodium, it's easier for us to function, to allow the kidney and the bladder to function so well. Okay, I checked. Let me know when there is chat. Okay, you can take a screenshot over here. I explain it. 
So most of the time when we attempt the sound healing, what you will hear is the vocalization from the sound healer. She loves to practice this sound to the, the audiences. When you take a deep breath, and then you can just practice it at the same time. Whenever you feel you have fear with you, you may practice this woo sound. So W H O O, you can write down. And that is the vowel sound, the vocalization for water. Okay. John? Yeah. Um, there's some confusion because on the previous chart, um, you were showing Ayurvedic elements, and those were the elements you were using on the hand, which were yes, ether, that is for hand. air, fire, water, and earth, right? Yep. Uh, but then you were showing a chart that has Chinese medicine uh, elements on it that are a little bit different. So yes, there, was there is different. Yeah, different I, I want elements. to show you the differences. For our hands, the five elements is the aether, air, fire, so I just share, stop the screen. For hands elements is aether, air, fire, water, and earth. For the internal organs is different. So the differences is, here you go. You can see each element which supports each other. So say for example, the five over here is fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. So in each element, which is related to the yin and yang for different organs. Okay, just now when I start from the water right over here, the water is related to our kidney and also our bladder. And the color symbol is black in color and which shows I mean, the flavor is salt, salty. Okay, in different elements and then we show different flavor. Okay, this is actually for our internal organs. So which is really not related to our hands and the hands I think I have different explanation is because I would like everyone to use your hand to create a space. Breathe in, set your intention, learn how to use your hands to start with everything you want to work with in your daily life or regular basis. But when we tune in our internal organs with these five elements, just now I, I start from the water. So you see, water produces wood. When it comes to the wood elements, and which is green in color, and this element, the yin organ is the liver. It's on our right side under our breast, okay? This is actually the, the yin organ is the liver. So the yang organ is the gallbladder. So this actually is to produce the enough, the moderate bile to help us to activate the detoxification, allow us to know more about whether we are well, especially our eyes, okay? You could feel. So this element would let us know that if you, do, if you are foggy in your brain, you have anger in your emotion and you feel discomfort, especially the fatigue feeling. And that tells you your, the, the bile in your, gut, uh, in your gut and it needs the detoxification. So this detoxification, what we can work with is the sour food. So with the moderate amount of sour food like lemon and the, uh, apple cider vinegar, then it can help. So how much of the apple cider vinegar that could make a great flush to have a jump start? A tablespoon and add in a glass of water. 
and then when it diluted the mint in the water, when you take it early in the morning, and it can help you to flush and help this liver and gut to function well for a, a day's kickstart, okay? And this is the wood. So the vowel sound, then we can vocalize it in. You can write down S H H H. So you can practice it while pressing on the vowel sound, pressing on the certain meridian point, okay? And this is wood. While water produces wood, that means it shows a support. They are interrelated. So we can see wood can create the fire, which produces the fire. When we reach to fire, and this is our heart meridian point and our small intestine, okay? So why you see, I explain it into the paired organs because they correspond to each other to create a harmony inside our, our physical ecosystem. So our physical ecosystem is actually the inner alignment in our body. When we are aligned, then we can be aligned with the outside world. So it's easier for you to know that the environment in the outside world can't disturb you very easily. You will sense it you will be very awake and intuitively sense something which is right and which is not right, okay? Because your body can tell. And each cells of our body is intelligent. So it's easier for us to know that this is not right. I don't like it. My mood changes. Why? Because fire is the heart. The yin, yoga, the yin organ is heart and the yang organ is the intest small intestine and which is related to your nutrition absorption. So when this nutrient absorption, and it creates a space, I'm talking about the aether, the space inside your body, whether it has or it shows the capacity to relate each other and combine each other to have that bonding in your body so that it results in, okay, you look good, you are glowing. You understand what I mean? So the vowel sound for this fire, we can vocalize in. <sighs> so how you spell it? W, H, A, A. You can make it as W, A, A, A. Ah, you just practice once, okay? Wholeheartedly when you breathe out and then I would like my students, I mean, especially locally, and then I love them to just vocalize it wholeheartedly. The reason why we, we practice the vocalization is because we want to know more about the inner organ, why maybe it needs some tuning, maybe it needs some, it needs some voice and then to to remove and get rid of the unnecessary energy, okay? I don't want to put the word like negative, but the unnecessary. So we know what is essential for ourselves. So since you see fire and the element of fire here, all the fire, the flavor is bitterness. Yeah? So the bitterness, I have to cover, I mean, the, the flavor for you as well. So you can jump back from uh, for the wood as well later on. Okay, that is the sour. Uh, that is a sour flavor. When we come to the fire, and then it is the bitter. So the bitterness actually can be from the guard, you know, the bitter guard, or maybe something which makes you feel a little bit like something sweet, but it turns to be a little bit bitter. And we can choose the chamomile tea. You can choose the chamomile tea. So there are actually some of the food and then which tastes and flavors is bitterness. And this bitterness can tell us, I mean, how we are going to reduce the heat in moderation. Another supportive, I mean, food that would be coffee, but it should be with moderation. If it doesn't show the moderation for taking the coffee, the, the amount of coffee can lead to the jettiness, then it can lead to insomnia at the same time. 
So how much coffee you can take, your body can tell, but not more than two cups for regular basis, okay? That's why we say some caffeine is good, but at the same time, we need something sweet and we need something spicy. We need something sweet and we need something spicy. That is the reason why in this fat every day, as for Chinese people, Asian people, we are so concerned about the five flavors in a dish or maybe in a few dishes, okay? So the vowel sound, we already said it, and then we see this element which would support the earth. So when we come to the earth element, and this earth element is about our stomach, okay? Your spleen and your stomach. Spleen is the yang, stomach is the spleen is the yang, stomach is the yin. So you can see in the middle part here. So what causes, what kind of emotions causes in, the, in this earth element, that is anxiety. And this anxiety can be caused by stress, especially when you don't find your self-worth, okay? When you don't find your self-worth, this element can cause you feeling you don't deserve certain thing. And it's, 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 it's very hard for you to reclaim the power of authority. That is the reason the earth element is located at your solar plastics area. So whenever you feel you are you have the discomfort and this feeling may take you to swell, you have the bloating. So when you have this kind of bloating in your in your body and you might feel like nausea and it causes I mean your migraine at the same time. And most of the time it's really hard for you to Keep listening and pay attention and be attentive. It's really difficult. So this earth element, um, the flavor of the earth element is sweet. And why, what is the reason why you want to take something sweet? And it's because you really love to be sweetened. And you really love to chill something starchy. When you feel like, I love to eat the pizza right away. I love to eat something crispy, like, like the chips and all that. And that is because this anxiety asking you, you need this food. And you, ha you have that craving to want that kind of food. So what is the vowel sound for this? And that is, you take a deep breath and then you just vocalize it as, W H O A W H O A. So we will practice it later on. Okay. Great. The color of the earth element is yellow. Any yellow food that you will meet. Okay. Say for example, the yellow food can be um can be something like cheese can be something like what we so call the yellow um like we talk about spice like cardamom or fenugreek seed or maybe what we so call the zucchini something which is related to this element this color then you can take it more okay because we are not talking about the seven chakras. So we just focus on these five colors food. So it's easier for you, I mean, to understand that what kind of food that you can take and to match with these five elements that will help you to be connected with your womb wellness. In womb wellness, the knowledge of learning, not just the womb, but the fire and the water, it means the yin and yang in your body to support every element so that it's easier for you to feel more stable. So while the earth element, we come to the metal. Sean? Metal element is... Sean, can we yes. pause for a second? Um, there was some uh, confusion about what the or 
did you cover what the emotion was in the fire element in this? Is this chart? unconditional love, resentment. Ah, resentment. I will conclude it. I will conclude it again. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Fire element is actually the unconditional love. The solution is unconditional love. How open your heart can be. And the negative emotion in fire is resentment, jealousy. So every time when you feel yourself, you can't open your heart to share and which could also related to your throat chakra because which is related to this chest area. So whenever your heart can't tell something expressively, so that is because of certain kind of feeling with disgrace, feeling with resentment, jealousy are actually within the space. So it's hard for you to express it, which makes you feel you are low. Your chi can't flow well because there are three main things in our life. The first one is our relationship. And the solution to find out, I mean, the, the solution to, to be resolved, I mean, in a relationship is actually very large skill. So we really have to take good care of this element in our heart. Anytime then we can have this kind of feeling in the fire element. And the second will be the career, which is related to abundance. And then this abundance, when we are not joyful and happy enough, when we have anxiety in the earth element, when we, when we can't make a decision in the wood element, when we have fear in the water element, it's really, really hard for us to open our heart to be joyful. That's why the five element covers everything to allow us to know more about how our womb can store love and create a space to allow us to live up, okay? Unconditional love can be soft. So some people, they may practice the hope oponopono. So what is hope oponopono? That is actually four sentence here. I am sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, and I love you. So when we come back to the heart, we always find that love, love actually is a sweetness in our heart, you know? So when we talk about sweetness and we don't talk about any elements, we just talk about a sweet feeling. And this sweet feeling can allow you to know that you are loved and you are love and you can love. And with this capability, it's easier for you to know that you are worthy and you have the worth. You always try to tell yourself this because you put a spell to yourself. It's, you are like, you are your own witch, you know? When we just put it this way, you are your own witch. See, the word, I mean, human beings governs with word. When you spell something correctly, like I am love. So you put this information into the, into your body to tell yourself you are that love. Spell the word, spelling L-O-V-E, and then you are trying to inject this information to change your DNA most of the time intuitively. This is the emotional part, okay? so. Just now we were at earth element. So supportively, then we can go to the metal. Metal is the lung and the large intestine. The yin organ for metal is our lungs. The yang organ is our large intestine, which is related to our digestive system. So the emotion for this element, you can write down, and it is grief, sadness. 
And you can see sometimes some people, they keep coughing for a few months and it's hard for them to cure it. It looks like incurable, no matter what medicine they try and all that, it is actually related to the emotions. And these emotions can cause them coughing during in the middle of the night or maybe in the daytime. And whenever you feel the discomfort around your heart area. These would be related to your fire and the metal. We can't just leave, I mean, any one of them because we need to breathe. When you are angry, you breathe. When you are not angry at the state of bliss, you breathe at the same time. So what can help this metal element, this metal element to be more sufficient and you you can just experience taking breath the pranayama is about the breathing the breathing technique can help you to release most of the tension but this is actually related to your physical body and i will explain to you what is one direction with these five elements later on okay so the color for this element is white and the flavor is spice, spicy. So any spicy food with moderation can help you to assess your body metabolism. Okay, so the spicy food can be including chili and maybe the white color food can be including what we so call um, the tea, some tea and then which is, which is white in color and then some tea which, which includes some spice and then this spice can help you, I mean, to feel your blood circulation can flow well. Sometimes when we take something like jelly pillow and then you feel and this spice can help you to be awakened. And that's the reason why we practice using the five elements to connect with the womb wellness. But we don't forget your hands, number one. Number two, we cannot out of, we cannot be leaving out of the food. And what are the five flavors, okay? Like the metal is spice, water is salty, wood is sour, fire is bitter, and the earth is what we so call sweet and the emotions which we'll be including in there. So when once we have this um, setting in our mind, that is how we are going to boost our mental body. Actually, there are four bodies that we have to be concerned about in one direction, okay? So let me just get back here and I will explain it to you. The five directions, yeah? Five directions. So four di one direction with four things that we have to be concerned about. Number one is our physical body. Physical body. This is the first body. Second body is the emotional body. That is the left side of our body. Remember, I say that it's which is related to our feeling. And the third body is the mental body. Is the right side. Okay, the right side. And the Fourth body is the energy body, which is related to our chi. The chi is the energy. Got it? Great. So with this chi practice, we would we can use different kinds of me uh, method uh, modalities to, to carry on and then to process it. To see the progress, you have to keep practicing it. So just now, I haven't told you about the vocalization of metal. That is S I I I. That is pronounced as you can write down that is the pissing sound like snake. Okay? Good. So now, are you ready for this practice? Actually, um, Sean, 
let's yes. let's take a brief pause. Um, I need to use the restroom, and I just want to give everyone a chance to, um, you know, do what they need to do. Perhaps go to the bathroom, um, get a drink of water. Sure. Can we just take a brief pause, and then we'll do the practice after that? How about five minutes? If we need five minutes, let's just um, take a pause and we'll come back. Okay. All right, let's resume. Okay, so we are back here. I have a question over here about, so sour reduces wood and how does it work? Good. This is actually a kind of craving <clears throat> in our life, okay? In our daily life. Whenever you feel any urges that you feel like I want to eat that particular flavor of food that tells you and then your body is talking to you. That is actually a kind of body talk. So your question is, how does it reduce? So how does sourness reduce wood? It, it doesn't mean that it reduces the wood. It reduces the, what we so call the um, emotion, the emotion. Like sometimes, like sometimes you feel, I feel so angry. I just, I just want to eat something. And then I want to eat something sugary to calm myself down. It's because the anxiety at your spleen and your stomach. And I just want to eat something spicy and then to boost my metabolism. It's because you feel you're so sad. It can be something like the grief. You hold the grudges surrounding your chest area, okay? So when we talk about the wood and then especially you feel, you cannot make a decision. You need something to just and then you make yourself feel, I am with my body. Actually, is the craving from the organs asking you, I need it. Okay, I get, so if I answer your question, so I get to the, another one. I get menstrual migraine and how am I craving sweets when I normally prefer to them? Okay, you see the, the progesterone, yeah? I answer the emotion of earth again. Okay, the emotion of earth, it's about anxiety. Anxiety, worries, and this could cause, and this could cause you having the bloating okay so when would you have this kind of anxiety let me tell you very easy we are living with people we connect with people whenever you are with people you need to interact and communicate when miscommunication and misunderstanding happens but it's really hard for you to express it so that could cause the anxiety, that could cause the stress, okay? And that could allow your chi doesn't flow well and just store at your spleen and your stomach. And this could cause you have very low appetite. And earth element can tell whenever you feel you have low appetite, okay? Great. So I want to get back to menstrual migraines and how am I craving sweets and when I normally do not prefer them. You can use some spice, spice like um, cloves, um, anise star, and uh, cinnamon. And that could, I mean, create a kind of sweet the sweet drink for yourself as well. We can name it as moon milk. Then I will provide more information about moon milk afterwards, yeah? And this moon milk, which is related to our five elements as well. So what are the ingredients in the moon milk? Say for example, um, if I want to get back to seed cycling. So this seed cycling, and we have two phases here. The follicular phase, and the luteal phase. So when would the follicular phase start? That will start from the menstruation the first day until the 14th day. Say for example, the first day of your menstruation until the 14th day is the 
follicular phase and which projects and which produces a lot of estrogen. And this period, the moon milk that you drink would include the seeds of um, pumpkin and also the flax seed. So each one's tablespoon for daily basis. You might say, okay, I have all kinds of seeds all the time. Can I mix up? But if you really want to focus on producing, okay, as moderately as much of the estrogen, you can take these two seeds, okay? And with your moon milk, the moon milk will including the turmeric, turmeric powder, because you can't get I mean, the turmeric root easily, you can get the turmeric powder, half a tablespoon, and then that could help you to remove the inflammation in your head. The brain fog is about a migraine, okay? Because this kind of pain is because of the, the um, blood circulation becoming weaker, okay? So, and also the chi flow surrounding your body, which is not good. So after I explain during the folli follicular phase, what kind of seeds you can take, so you can take another, another batch of seed for boosting your progesterone, okay? These seeds would be related to white or black sesame seeds. Each half tablespoon, half a tablespoon for black and white sesame seed plus one tablespoon of sunflower seed. And then you can add the turmeric powder and also at the same time, you can add the almond milk in there, a little bit of the black pepper spice and some coconut oil or maybe the avocado oil, one teaspoon. So why practice this kind of uh, seed cycling? And that is actually related to our five elements as well. You can see the green color, green color, um, green color, what is the seed? Pumpkin seed, which is green in color, which is related to our wood elements. So the flax seed, the color of flax seed, which is related to the earth elements, and that is produce the estrogen. When you practice using the white sesame seed, that is for your lung, metal. When you practice using the black sesame seed, which is good for your, what we so call the womb, your kidney and your bladder. Okay, that is the water element. When you practice using the sunflower seed, which is related to the yellow element as well, it means the earth element. So for all these kind of elements, the seed you practice using that is actually to increase the level of progesterone to help you I mean, to, I mean, reduce the craving of something sweet. But if you can't escape from it, actually, different kind of practice like vocalization, touching with both of your hands. And then for certain kind of practice, you can know more about how you can reduce this kind of issues and these situations. Huh? I will let you know. I feel bitter. Okay, the next question is, I feel, feel bitter is a taste those people don't use. What would that be? Okay. Bitter actually um, is a kind of sweetness as well, can be a kind of sweetness as well. But as for external Chinese medicine, when you feel the fire in your heart is over, is over, you can take the watermelon. Actually, we can taste a little bit of the bitterness from the spice as well. When you take the food, in the element of earth. And this bitterness, <clears throat> that already works. Out of your knowing, you are already taken something bitter. You don't know. Sometimes something too sugary also causes the bitterness, but this bitterness is excessiveness. It's not in moderation. But this bitter, besides, besides using, I mean, the guard, and then you can see, um, Coffee, that would work. Tea, that would work. And that is a kind of bitterness as well. So you would take a moderate um, amount of tea. You wouldn't drink tea for the whole day. 
because I mean too much caffeine in it is not good for you, right? Okay. Next question is um, Sean, most of my ailments. Sorry. Uh, before you move on, I just wanted to um, address the uh, part of that question that I'm not sure was addressed in your response, which is why would it be that people don't use bitter flavor? Um, that might that that's kind of an American thing. Um, mm. uh, people like bitter, bitter is very commonly used in um, Asian foods and um, most of like the time, that, most of the time, because of the importance placed on the five flavors. But in in American and even English and some European foods, bitter flavor is not preferred and actually excluded from the cooking a lot of the time. And so that mm. that could you could discuss um, the emotion, the collective emotional state of not of excluding bitterness from the flavor palette of a whole culture mm. or a whole country yes. or a whole society um, may have something to do with sort of a collective state of mind that doesn't include wasn't bitter the bitter flavor about unconditional love yes so no um bitter is actually for um yes unconditional love yes so when we have a, a culture or a society that's that doesn't include unconditional love that instead says only certain people are are um worthy of love when they achieve certain things or they're born with certain things, then um, that creates a collective state of, of resentment and a lack of unconditional love and, and, you know, a lack of appreciation for the flavor of bitter. So that, that would be mm. my explanation to address that question more. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Emotionally bitterness is, Something like as what Sama Monisa said about how we are going to practice. We just practice, okay? Practice using certain kind of modality and then to either increase or decrease. Something that you want or you don't want. Something you need or you don't need. It's actually very, uh, really follow the preferences according to what you, you require. Because if I do not want to use the word like bad and good, because I'm I'm trying I mean to show something which is neutral with moderation. So it's easier for you to know that you are always right with yourself. And then you create a space for your own to learn and practice something new. That means it's a choice in you and then you want to explore, then you can learn more. That's why I want to put the words, I mean, for the aether, I mean, in our practice. So let's see next. Most of my ailments seem have earth energy, bloating, stress, and stagnation. stagnation. Okay, this is something good. Bloating. Then I will show you some acupressure, emotional energy healing how you're going to work with these five elements. We don't solve only one element, we solve five elements, and which is related to our journaling. Journaling can be a kind of womb writing as well. Okay? Um, I want everybody to get ready, and then if you have a piece of paper and your pencil with you, then we can start the practice later on, okay? Or about how you're going to, how we are going to learn how to get rid of the kind of emotion which doesn't belong to us and which we don't need and we don't want. Okay. Later, I will conclude everything together, not just for earth energy, it's actually for all. Okay. This one's better than heart and the six sweetness for balance. Okay. The society is bitter in their hearts and the six sweetness for balance. So the goal is to seek balance. Yes, balance is all. Be in the middle of the road is all. So that's why I say, nor good or bad, 
non-negative or positive. You just feel yourself. Are you at the state of bliss? Are you okay with it? Are you okay with your inner environment? If you are okay and you feel blissful with your inner ecosystem, it's easier for you to get adapted to the outer environment. Because when we can be affected by all this environment, it's because of we are not balanced emotionally, we are not balanced mentally. Okay, there are five steps I'd like you all to write down. The first step is purification. It's all about how we are working with our inner management. This purification is how we are going to have the goal setting. And in this goal setting is, what do you want? Don't write, I wish. Just write, I want. Because I want is actually what you need as well, okay? In your journal. And this purification is, you make your decision right. Easily to make your decision, which is related to our liver and gut, the wood element. And second, how you're going to quiet your mind. Second is silence. Once you learn how to purify, set the intention, then you just jump to silence. Because whenever your mind is too noisy, it's easier for you to know that, okay, I can't think, I can't figure out something. It's really hard, okay? This is silence. How to silence your mind. After purification, it's easier to silence your mind. To silence your mind, you need to take action to talk to your body cell molecularly, atomically, and telling them, I need you to calm down. So what is the method? You can drink a cup of water and then you hold it with both of your hands, practice gratitude. Whenever you have this kind of feeling and you smell it, drink it. Chew it, taste it. And this kind of process can help you to slow down. It's like what we so-called, you start to buffer. You don't go somewhere else. You are with something that you need. Why water? Because without water, and it's really hard, 70% of our body is water. So you need to connect with water and talk to the water. Okay? After silencing your mind, then it comes to observation. So we can write down observation. And in this observation is to be intuitively observe your emotion. So this emotion has emotion within. You just communicate with this emotion whenever you are in your meditative mode. The so-called meditative mode, it doesn't mean that you have to cross your legs, sit, I mean, you watch something else, you just close your eyes and then you look inward. So the looking inward, you may have different kinds of feeling at the beginning. You could allow different kinds of matters coming in and different kinds of matter coming in, they cause your emotions to be differently. So in these differences, you communicate with your emotions and asking them, stay or leave. And this is a kind of process in observation. So once you are still in your mind and your body, and also you find your breath, your breathing, and then would be so smooth, so blissful, start to find the form. This is what we so-called reflection. Okay, in this reflection, 
It's about the self-reflection, how you're going to project it to the audiences, to the outside world. When you see something which is nice, even to other people, which is not nice, then in you, which is nice, that means that is nice, okay? If it is not, then it is not. But if you feel you're at a state of bliss, then that is your self-reflection. Nothing can disturb you. And you find the balance within. It's always about within and without. Okay? So the fifth is about environment. Environment means the inner environment and the external environment. The internal environment is balance. Balance with the fire and the water. They can communicate and accommodate with each other so well. So the external environment won't disturb you. And then these disturbances is not your business. It's none of your business. So what do we say? That would be, let's just sit back and observe. As a matter of fact, when your heart feel not too fiery, not in a rush, and then not everything you need reactions. Because sometimes when we react, it would include different kinds of emotions. The emotions can be unfriendly. The emotions can be with a lot of agitation and frustration. You don't know how you react and it can cause different kinds of consequences. So whenever we speak, think first. So it's easier for us to deliver the right message. The deliverance matters. Okay? So this is actually the five matters, I mean, that I am always be concerned about. Because in our body, actually, each cell has its intelligence. So I like you or are you ready? Any questions? And to seek balance, and then we need the one direction. I concluded. One direction with four bodies. First is the physical body. That is, you use your hands or maybe your body movement to work with that. It's about a kind of action with stability. Second body, emotional body. Whether you are deliver some harmony or disharmonies, it also with stability and firm affirmation. And number four, number three is the mental body. And whatever you think, and you already know that your inner management, your love management is already tuned with you. It's already tuned with you with no doubt. Okay? So this inner management is very important. It means a lot. And you, we have to practice how to awaken and maintain the happiness for our faculty most of the time, okay? Okay, yes, very good. And the fourth is the energy body, and this body can help a lot to know that whether you are with us or not, you are with your body or not. So what am I going to do with you or is, how are we going to practice the vocalization? Shall we, Sama? Great. Wait. Just get ready. Sit still. Then we can set the intention for ourselves. When you wrap your hands and talk to your hands, you can smell it. See it. Feel it and hear it. Just feel the existence of these five elements that I mentioned. Ether, air, fire, water, and earth. That is for your hand. The moment when you rub your hands and feel more. What is the feeling? Are you at a state of bliss? Smell it. 
<sighs> so we will start from the element of metal that is related to our lung. And before this, and we set our own intention, the intention that could help you to assess any wishes you want. Say, for example, say the affirmation, first of all, to yourself from your heart, like, I am love. I am loved. I am sweet. I am energy. I am abundance. I am prosperity. I am health. I am who I am, how I am, where I am, and what I want to be. Then you can set your intention to say to these five elements, especially dealing with your internal organs that I mentioned. Learn how to get a permission from them allow them to assess everything you want. And always remember our body is a technology, is a mechanism that we have used for years. And practice gratitude, say thank you to your body. Calm your mind down. Breathe in and out. Be thankful. Whatever comes to you, it will go. Either you react or respond. Let bygone be bygone. Allow yourself to be a new you most of the time. Like we say at our womb space, restore love. Any new, any newness happens, which we, we could include a new project, a new relationship, a new idea, a new plan. It can be a new recipe. Because of the newness, and you let you see the hope, and you let you feel your aliveness. Be aware and be thankful for your aliveness. Be sweet, because love is a sweet feeling. Smile to yourself. Very good. I'd like you to practice this. Okay, so this is about what we so call the lung meridian point. We start from the left side of the body, okay? What you would do with that is sit still. So I let you know which part of it. The latter part of your chest, you press here. And our destination will reach to from the inner arm Going down, we will get to the side of the crown of your thumb. Here you go, your thumb. This is the meridian point of lung. Okay, the intention for this is actually to get rid of the feeling of sadness, grief. Then this paired organ is the large intestine. So it starts from the side of the crown of your forefinger, going up to this junction and slowly get to the side of your shoulder. 
and swipe your hands up the finger up to your neck and get to the side of the left lips the side of your left nostril below your nose tip and the side of your right nostril so what you can do is you keep practicing the vocalization sound as in a row. Take a deep breath and allow the energy, the chi, stay at your womb area. We name it as Tan Tian. And in this practice, you might burp, okay? So just thumb up, start from the left, take a deep breath and start rolling along your fingertips, all your fingertips, yeah? Allow these elements to open up everything. And breathe in. Very good. Large in this time, the side of the crown, the crown of the forefinger, press it and practice at the same time. Breath in. Pause your breathing and then inhale and exhale. When your body slowly get warmer, temperature, the blood circulation start working better, okay? So the right side, it's about our thought and the fatherly part, masculine part. So the lateral chest right over here, likewise, thumb up, deep breath. Pause your breathing consciously, and then we go to the forefinger. This is the large in this time. Pause and inhale. Pause, exhale. Okay, this is long and large in this time. So when we practice the womb, because after the lung, the metal, and then which produces the energy at your womb. They are interrelated, which corresponds to the womb, the water element. So what you would do with that is, and let me just stand up and then I will show you better.
the internal part of your inner eye. Here you go. This is the bladder. And slowly swipe your fingers up to your crown. Going down, straight line, going down to the back of your crown. Till the neck and get to the upper part of your back. And what you can do is, once you draw a big circle, and halfway down, and you would touch your spine again, just touch the spine, allowing the fingers swiping down, to the, to the, here we go. And using both of your hands, the energy of your hands touching your glute. And keep yourself standing and allowing the hands going down your hamstring, the back of your knees, the back of your calves, slowly swipe down. Touching the heel and cross the edge of your feet externally and pinch your baby finger, uh, baby toes, sorry, baby toes. That is what we so call the bladder. Okay, so what about the kidney? The kidney meridian point start from this part. So I got to sit down and let you know this part. So what you would do is later on, you stand up as well at the same time, or if you sit down, then you could do it at the same time. This is the part. Look at my fingers. And swipe into the part of your legs, going up, inner thumb, Going up and come to your groin. After the groin, take another deep breath. Going up, cross your breast and going to the below part of your collarbone. Here we go. That's why you can see some tapping exercise. They would tap here, right? Okay. Another reason why I share with you why you use your hands and with the fingertips is because the fingertips are the meridian point of lung. So well use your hand, okay? Now the vowel sound, we can vocalize it as Now let's start, I will stand up and I will demonstrate. So take a deep breath, start from the inner eye, and then you can start to practice the oo sound because this, uh, this is a bit complex Then I need to show you in a very clear way. You continue doing the woo sound as I will explain the pathway. Deep breath, practice the oo sound, and slowly allowing the fingertips going up to the top of your crown, and come down to the back of the crown in a straight line, come to the back of your neck, the upper back, and you stand up Draw a big circle and then allow yourself to halfway bend. Let the fingertips touching your meter spine. And if you want to start from another Wu sound, please do so, okay? Slowly allowing the fingers going down to the end of your spine. Allowing your palms touching your glute, 
in a very slow motion and slowly going down your hamstring. Feel, feel it, feel the stretch, especially when you reached the back of your knees, okay? So slowly going down to the back of the calf, continue your ooh sound, touching the heel and cross the edge of your feet, the external feet and get to massage your baby toes and review your feet and press at the point that I mentioned, here you go, that I mentioned, allowing your fingertips to go up. Now, here we go. We review both of our feet at the same time. Press it. Slowly cross your hands and fingers at the inner ankle bone. Slowly swipe your hands going up at the inner part of your legs. Going up, feel the warmth and keep, ooh, okay? And going up to your groin. Take another deep breath, allowing both of your hands staying at the groin. And touching your lower abs, upper ab, cross your breast, going up to your collarbone. And stay there for a while. Take a deep breath. Great. So next, what I would like to say is the wood. Now it's the gallbladder. Here you go. You practice with the sound. It should be in a row to the end. Press it into the side of your eye. I keep explaining and coming down to the small minor cavity next to your ear. Very good. And allow your fingertips cross the C shape behind your ear and coming down to the back of your earlobe. And swiping the hands down to your neck, cross the side of your chest, come down to the side of your torso, the side of your glute, standing again, and gently bend your upper torso. Now the sum is a side of your the lateral part of your leg, and slowly in a graceful way, going down, touching, touch your ankle bone, and slowly swipe your fingers to the fourth toe, fourth toe, okay? And Allowing your hands, take another deep breath, touching the inner ankle bone. Again, in the part of your legs. And continue the shh sound. And allowing hands, swiping up the inner leg, especially the thigh. And when you get to the pubic area, and please use your hands Please use your hands to pinch and press it in a circular way. And that's the point for your liver, meridian point. And after that, allowing both of the hands get to your liver and gallbladder part. Take a deep breath.
Very good. And now, after the wood, and then we go to the fire. You can see it's a circle. So the fire is about the heart, the yin organ. And the yang organ is the small intestine. Now this time it's about ah, ah. Remember the moment when you have this vocalization, I like you to do it wholeheartedly. Ah. Keep practicing the vocalization first when you are used to it. It's all about adaptation, yeah? I'll show you where the meridian point is. Now you sit down, then we can practice it. Allow your spine to be lengthened and check. This is the left side of your face. Start from this point. Okay, this is your ear. Start from this point and slowly go down to the tip of your jaw and allowing your fingers swipe up and go to the C shape behind your ear, come down behind your ear look, swiping down, excellent arm and your destination is to your baby finger. Slowly swipe, I'll show you once first and come to the external part, the side of the crowd of the baby finger. And from your armpit, now see, and swiping down and get to the pulse the wrist here and slowly get to the baby finger again. See, this is the heart meridian point, but how are you going to print, I mean, to vocalize it? Remember I say, oh. okay, after this, I'll give you something more easier. Now, let's go. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, now it's the right side. Ah. 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 So very clear for this. Next, that would be our earth element. How the vocalization sound is. This is for your stomach and the spleen. What we're going to work with that is touching your apple zone. If you sit down, it's fine. Straighten both of your leg, touching it, and you keep whoa, okay? Apple zone, slowly allowing your hands going down to the jaw, to your neck, come to your chest, breast, solar plexus, womb space, groin, and swipe your hands on your quadricep, knee, the front of your carb, your sheen, coming to your ankles, touched it, and allowing your hands to go to your second toes.
and that is your colon, stomach. And touched the side of the crown of your big toes externally and allowing your fingers touching, keep okay? Slowly allowing your hands cross your inner ankle bone, inner carbs, inner knees, inner thighs. When you reach the groin, allowing your hands to get to the side of the torso, here we go. This is the element that I need to explain this to me to the students who ask the questions. Whenever you feel the swell, you know, the energy which blocks you, keep having this vocalization by pressing this area. Our spleen can lead us to overthinking most of the time. When you are out of balance, and slowly allowing your hands come to your nipple. And I like you to use your hand to pinch your nipple. And this is the pericardium point. And it helps you to detoxify, remove the toxin. Ah. Let's have it for five times. Ah. Ah. Let's not be shy and do it wholeheartedly. Ah. 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 Now place both of your hands at your chest area. Feel. Observe your emotion. Sitting still, breath in and out. If your emotion is at the state of bliss, that is the inner joy. If your physical body feels more so relaxed, that is the reflection of your energy is stored. If your mentality, your mindset is crystal clear, that is you know what you want and what you need. It's easier for you to have any decision making. Observe when you're ready. Think and manifest something you want. And believe it. Keep the faith, knowing that this will happen to you in a very beautiful and sweet way. If you are ready, we can chat. Hi, Sama. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. So much. Um, I'm feeling quite relaxed and nourished. And um, Thank you. Yeah. And I would love to hear 
anyone else would like to share how you're feeling. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording so we can share um, and have our, some time together for those who are here live. Um, okay. <laughs> 